Welcome back. Get ready for some 814 Eats. You know her as Chef Janet. Yeah. I know her sometimes as Mama D. Mama D. We love you. Thanks I for coming on the you. show. But Chef Janet just told us some great news. If you've been following Studio 814, you know the story. She tragically lost her home in a fire, and that was about a year ago. September 20th of last year. But we do have some good news. Yes, we do. You have moved in. I am back in home. my beautiful brand new home, rebuilt and refurbished and restored. Wow, I'm sure so many viewers are happy to hear that oh. because they were sending so much love, support, and prayers. They were, and we're so happy now that I don't even want to leave the house. Oh, well. You can't hardly <laughs> get me to come out of the house. Well, I'm glad we got you out for this recipe. <laughs> Congratulations, Janet. Tell, Thank you. Tell it's Bobby been a long, I. long battle here. Yes. So what are we whipping up today? Hey, Memorial we're going to make day. something good Memorial Day. We know everybody loves bacon, and bacon goes with everything. And, and bacon makes it better. so good in so here. So this is what I'm doing. I'm doing a little pasta dish with some fresh shrimp. Ooh. And I've taken, this is a pound of bacon that, that I cooked this morning, and I have chopped this all up. Up. And what I did is when my bacon cooked, all this bacon grease in here is what we call, we've rendered. What type rendered of bacon? Rendered the bacon, just regular bacon and at the grocery. And you chop it up real fine. And it's fine. just a one pound, and I did it in a food chopper uh, mm. so I could get. And if this liquid here, your oil, should come out to be about a fourth of a cup okay. of oil. And if it doesn't, feel free to add olive oil or butter to make it. Uh, be about a fourth of a cook because you want you want to be able to coat all that pasta. How much pasta do we have in there? Uh, we have a half a pound. Okay. Okay. And Ooh. then we have some nice shrimp that is already shelled and deveined for you. Okay. And then like we're gonna this. make sure that we get, we want all that bacon juice, mm, 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 mm. you so know? This is kind of a, a little surf and turf here because we got the bacon, we got the seafood, We've got your pasta. pork and your pasta and your seafood. And when you render your bacon and make this bacon fat and chop your bacon, it's mm. really nice. You can put this in a salad. And this is called basically a hot bacon dressing. Okay. And you can make this up for like a wilted spinach salad. Oh. Now the components of a hot bacon dressing are of course your bacon and your bacon grease. What do we add in there? A little bit of sweetener. Okay. A little bit of sugar. So you could do sugar or your Splenda. Sugar or Splenda. This is, I'm making it a little more diabetic friendly because I'm a diabetic. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you put a little sugar in there. You want a little bit of sweetener. And what do we got here? Well, all hot bacon dresses incorporate some type of vinegar. Okay. And you could use apple cider vinegar. You mm. can use white vinegar. I like this Marzetti's vinaigrette dressing that's okay. sun-dried tomato. Ooh, I didn't know. Marzetti's vinaigrette sun-dried tomato. And that's it's a nice. Simply Light. So it's a light, and you can add as much or little vinegar as you Ooh, would like in there. That's coming together nicely. It is coming together nicely. And I like, I like to try different vinaigrette dressings. Uh, I have tried this with just using the white vinegar, the yeah. apple cider. You just don't get that bang for your buck. <laughs> You know, I'm looking for that punch. Yeah. You know, I want it to knock me out. So <laughs> Well, because so we, we got a little bit of this sweet. We got the savory from the bacon and the smoky. Right. And then probably the vinegar gives you a little bit of that zing. Then we need. got nice, fresh, grated Parmesan Ooh. cheese, which, you know, that makes everything better. Beautiful. I love that. Uh -huh. And then and I so did about a pound of shrimp with my half a pound of my bow, pie, pa, uh, bow tie pasta. Could you imagine bringing this to Memorial Day, you know, lunch or dinner? Well, look how quick that was for me to whip this up. Yeah, it came together once you get the pasta mm. together. All right, let's see. I'm going to put some on this platter. Okay. To show a little presentation. Yes, beautiful. And then we've got you a plate over there. Okay. And That's stunning. <laughs> Chef Jana, we love having you on the show. You got some good eats. And what we love is you do a little bit of a phone a friend too. So if anybody watching, you got any cooking questions, you can just call Chef Janet. Janet, what's the best way to get a hold of you? 
Well, you know what? I have my cell number posted there, 615-489-5347. But believe it or not, when we got our telephone landline hooked up, I was able to get my old phone number. Wow, The, the studio here on my business cards, my 814-515-1191. <laughs> I was able to get my same phone congrats. number back. Congrats. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a okay, taste here. Okay, and I here. know you're not a seafood, so you just go for mm. the pasta. There, mm. Rebecca. I love that. That bacon dressing. That's delicious. And what a beautiful presentation. And you know what's nice about this is you can experiment with your different type of vinaigrette dressings. Yes. According to what maybe you're wanting a little raspberry mm. flavor. Yeah. A little dill. I, I like, you know me, I use a lot of sun-dried tomatoes. Perfect. But look what a beautiful presentation that is. It is wonderful. Is. Chef Gina, thank you for coming on the show. We love I having love you. I love you and I miss Crystal today. <laughs> she misses they her tell pony. Her in the pony barn. Her Hello. little Talladega Nights. <laughs> we love having you, Dana. If you missed anything, we'll have it over on Studio814.com.